Welcome back to consecutive day 1008 of a diary of a runpreneur. And today I want to talk to you about passion and emotion and how it can be a really good thing or a really bad thing. So uh, please do give this a subscribe, share, like and comment as the more people we get in front of, the more money we raise on my fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. All the information about the challenge and how you can get involved is in the link in the comments below. Thank you as always, and let's get started. So, consecutive day 1008 of a diary of a rumpreneur. And um, yeah, today I want to talk to you about passion and emotions and when they're a good thing and when they can also be a bad thing. And this is a little bit embarrassing, I'm not going to lie, to talk about this because um, I'm incredibly passionate about um, teams I support, the sides that I'm on, my opinions in certain instances, and regardless of how much I try and often control my passion, taper it down and kind of control my emotions, on occasions they get the better of me. And um, although I think passion and emotion on the whole, if channeled in the correct way and if controlled in the correct way, can be an incredibly good thing because it it drives you forward it's almost a catalyst for action rather than inaction but um on occasions it doesn't quite work out as well and um this is a really trivial example but it hopefully will summarize exactly what i mean some uh, quad bike going past me on a kind of busway he's a maintenance guy so excuse the, the sound but um yeah, so what I mean today is that I'm a massive Manchester United football fan, soccer fan, as some of you may may uh, may know it wherever you are around the world. Um, biggest rivals to Manchester United is Liverpool, and um, it doesn't help that my uh, my brother-in-law, father-in-law, mother-in-law, even daughter on occasions, wife as well, are Liverpool fans, and uh, I'm a Manchester United fan. My oldest son, kind of a little bit of a plastic Manchester United fan. Uh, my youngest son sometimes supports Manchester United. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm massively outnumbered here. And not really an issue, but um, United have a pretty poor record against Liverpool of late, especially as Liverpool have been the better team over the past several years. And um, this season's the first season in a long time that Manchester United have been the better team, or based on performance over the course of the season they have been the better team and Manchester United are um, are actually playing Liverpool at the moment and uh, it was half time they went one nil down right before half time really soft goal and then the second half straight off the after the break they go two nil down I think they they may even be three or even four nil down at this moment in time um, just gonna put my light on because it's getting pretty dark so um Rather than sit there and just take the wrath of my father-in-law and brother-in-law, I decided, you know, I need to get out there and go for a run. So I took myself out of the situation because I was getting, I was seeing the red mist. The more ridiculous comments that were coming out of the house just to antagonise me. And I'm sitting there. And you know what? We've got a great relationship. My brother-in-law, father-in-law, myself, great relationship. But I just felt, you know, the red mist arising. No matter how much... I try and control my passion and emotion. It's just winding me up. And no matter, you know, and then my wife comes and goes, oh, you're a bit quiet. And, you know, just little comments like that. It's winding me up even more. So I got myself out of the equation, come out on a run, spout out my, uh, my feelings. And ultimately, I already feel a thousand and one times better. But I feel a bit embarrassed and ashamed that I can't necessarily control that in that environment. I should be able to. And that's my point of today's episode. My passion, emotions are often a catalyst for my action and productivity and ambition and drive. So I think it's great. But in situations like this where, you know, it's trivial. It's a blue football club that I don't have any you know, direct involvement with. It's sport. It can be a lottery at times. You know, you do get the David and Goliath scenarios. I'm not saying this is one, but when an underdog will beat... Uh, a better team. I'm not saying that today, by all accounts. I think 
based on on the first half, I think we united with a better team. But they went in one nil down. It's an injustice because how they come out the second half you can see straight away from sloppy football, and then to be three or four nil, which is almost like quitting in my book. It's just embarrassing and shame. And I think that's something that I struggle with a lot. Is pride. I have a a it's a sin, isn't it? Pride. I I, I struggle with the sin of pride in that I'm ashamed of a performance or I'm ashamed of how something happened and I don't deal with it necessarily in the right way so so yeah <laughs> that's my topic today um, I'm working on it I think if it wasn't my brother-in-law and father-in-law I'd be able to hide it more but they know me incredibly well and they know how to push my buttons a little bit and uh, yeah just a poor performance for me I have to confess um, not my finest hour but you know what at least i'm i took action got out of there come out for a run clear my head and uh rather than be pathetic and come out with you know silly comments and stuff it's probably uh, a good thing that i came out so maybe it is a positive that i've managed to um remove myself from that situation where past times of old i may not have done that so you know two sides to every coin but anyway not my proudest moment something I'm aware of something I need to get better with but at the same time if I take the passion and the emotion out of me maybe I, I take away a lot of my strong points so perhaps it's something that's just a you know kind of collateral damage of some of the traits that I like to think are some of my stronger points but anyway that's it for me today most of the story is I think emotion and passion is good for the majority of times but there are occasions where it can get the better of you. It can lead you to have being irrational. It can lead to you being petulant in your behaviour. And I think understanding this is a really, really important part of the psychological aspects of this. If you understand your, um, your emotions, you understand your passion, then in a lot of instances you can control it. But sometimes there will be cases where you can't. And do you know what? I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing to remove yourself of those situations um, when you find yourself in them. So... Um, I hope that summarises the episode. But um, any questions or comments, drop me a line and respond to everyone. Please do give us a subscribe, share, like and comment as the more people we get in front of, the more money we raise on my fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultramarathon. All the information about the challenge, how you can get involved, is in the link in the comments below. Thank you as always. Stay positive, stay happy, and I'll see you again tomorrow.